What we're going to be looking at is the effective interest method to amortize debt issued at both a premium and at a discount and what we have to calculate is the effective interest expense on this debt. And we're going to be looking at it in terms of a loan here that's taken out and that has to be paid back. So first off we'll look at debt issued at a premium. So what do we mean by that here? So in this case we're going to have a $10,000 loan here that's going to have to be paid back and then the loan here is for four years. And we're going to have interest payments on this loan of 8% per year here. So those are going to be some cash payments that we have to calculate on this loan. But what we mean by a premium here is that in this case, we're going to receive $12,000 here on this loan we're taking out. That's what we received up front here. And we're going to only have to pay back $10,000 here at the end of the fourth year here. We've got four years on this loan. So what we have to do is we have to amortize the difference between the $12,000 receipt and the $10,000 payment of uh, future value that we have to pay out here the maturity on this loan so there's a difference here of $2,000 and that was what we call the premium we received more here than we have to pay back by $2,000 and that is what we have to amortize down so what we have to do is we have to calculate the effective interest rate here on this loan and we first off we start out with the cash payment that we make so that was that 8% interest rate per year times $10,000 so we're going to have a cash payment here of $800 each year here on this loan so we're going to have $800 for each of the next four years the total cash payment that we're making is $3,200 now we have to determine the effect of interest rate on this loan we're paying 8% here uh, in cash but we have to determine the effect of interest rate to amortize this loan down here from 12,000 down to $10,000 and we do that uh, determine this effective interest rate using a financial calculator here so what we would do is what we know here is we got four years here on our loan that would go into our numbers on our calculator here and then we ha uh, know the present value here that's the amount we received that was the twelve thousand dollars we received up here and then the other thing we know is the payment amount that was that eight hundred dollar cash payment uh, that we have to pay each year here and we put that in as a negative number here and then what we have to pay back that's the future value here in our calculator that's ten thousand dollars that's the maturity value of this loan here of ten thousand dollars so you put again put that in as a negative number you got your numbers in here hit your interest button here and you're going to come up with an effective interest rate here of 2.66 to eight percent so effectively that's the amount of uh, the interest rate that we're paying on this uh, uh, loan each year here so to de amortize it yeah to determine your effective interest expense here for the first year here you st take your beginning balance here of twelve thousand dollars times your effective interest rate here of two point six six to eight percent and you're going to come up with an effective interest expense here of three hundred and twenty dollars for the first year here so compare that to the cash payment of eight hundred dollars and then you get your amortized amount here subtracting that from the 320 from your 800 you're going to get up with a premium amortization here of 480 dollars now you can see that you have to amortize it down here from 12,000 to 10,000 so simply subtract that amortized amount here 480 from your beginning balance of 12,000 you come up with your new carrying value here for the second year at 11,520 and then to determine your amortization for the next period simply take that new balance times your effective interest rate then you're going to get your effective interest expense here for the next period compare that to your cash payment and that's the amount that you're amortizing again down here each year here so now what you'll notice here and then the rationale behind this effective interest method here you can see your effect your interest expense here is decreasing per year here 320 the first year we get down to 280 the next year here uh, uh, dollars per year here and you can see you got a reducing balance here in your debt from 12,000 down to 10,000 so you have a reducing interest expense here using this effective interest rate now you can see here the effective interest here uh, that you're going to be paying on this loan is twelve hundred dollars compared to your thirty two hundred dollar cash amount and then the difference here is the amortized amount here of your principal two thousand dollars simply the twelve thousand dollar much what you received up front here and what and the ten thousand dollars what you're going to have to pay back that is the amount of premium amortization again 
and this is using the effective interest method here. Just remember to put in your calculate. I uh, put these numbers into your calculator, the present value, the payments that have to be paid, and then what's going to have to be paid back here in the future. And then put your number of years in. Now remember, when you're using this here, you're going to have to match your interest uh, rate here per period here to the amount of uh, the cash payment you're making per period. So if it was semi-annually here, then you'd have to figure out what you're paying uh, semi-annually here on the on the loan here, uh, and then your interest expense would be on a semi-annual basis. You just have to make sure you get your payments here uh, uh, for the period matched up with your interest expense. Okay, so we've done our amortization here on a premium. We started out with a, a greater balance here. That was the premium amount, $12,000 here. Well, it was a $2,000 premium. We started out with $12,000 here, and we amortized it down to the maturity uh, a, a loan value here of $10,000. Now let's go and look at how we'd record that here on our balance sheet here. So um, now this is how the debt issued at premium affects the interest expense. Now we received ten twelve thousand dollars here when the when the note was issued and we have to pay back ten thousand dollars here at the end of the fourth year. So we just simply as a liability here a bond or a notes payable here on our balance sheet we would credit that here for the maturity or what we have the face value of that note here of ten thousand dollars and then what the cash that we received here, this is at the issue date here, we would have received $12,000 here. So the difference gives us our premium here, credit our premium here on our balance sheet of $2,000. So that increases our bonds payable by this premium amount here. And then we have to amortize it down. And this comes off our, our amortization schedule here. So we know what our cash, just looking at our interest expense. That's what we want to look at, the interest expense. Remember that was at that 2.6628% effective rate that we calculated. And you can see that from our balances here. So we have a $800 cash payment. Let's look at it for the first year here. And then our amortized amount of our premium here was $480. So the difference here uh, debit here on our premium account for 480 credit here for our cash uh, paid here of $800 so the debiting amount here would be $320 uh, the balancing amount here debit of 320 debit here of 480 balances with the credit here of $800 now again um, this effective interest that came off our amortization schedule that remember we had the stated rate of interest here and effectively it was considerably lower here because we received a greater amount up front here than what we had to pay back so you just look at you can see uh, effectively here on our income statement that was our interest expense it was reduced here from the cash amount here uh, interest expense was reduced by the amount of amortization here the premium and that gave us effectively the interest expense that we have to record on our income statement okay so again that takes care of our, our premium here remember we re for a premium here we received twelve thousand dollars up front so and we're gonna have to pay ten thousand dollars back here so the premium that we amortized here was two thousand dollars so that was what we amortized two thousand dollars worth of premium and then just to note here when this, at the maturity of this note or this loan here we would uh, take the note or uh, loan off our our balance sheet here uh, credit amount here was when at the issue date so we would debit that here at the maturity date when we pay it by ten thousand dollars and then there would have to be a cash payment made out here of ten thousand dollars so just take it away from here uh, what we want to take away from here the interest expense that we actually uh, uh, record here on our income statement here is that effective right here and that you can see here is much lower than the actual interest cash interest expense and that was really the difference here between the premium here and our cash account gave us our effective interest expense okay now let's go down and let's look at debt issued at a discount same thing as we've done with the premium but what we mean and we have the same amount of loan we're looking at here ten thousand dollar loan eight percent stated rate of interest but what we mean at a discount here let's go down and look at it and we have to set up our amortization for that we would have received only eight thousand dollars here uh, when this note was issued here but we're going to have to pay back ten thousand dollars when it becomes due 
do here. So again, determining your effective interest rate here. We know what our cash payments are here for your 8% times the $10,000 face amount of the loan. So we get $800 cash payment. Same as above here. Uh, over four years we're looking at again. Same as we had for our premium account here. Total amount of cash paid here would have been $3,200 based on the 8% interest rate here. But now to the effective interest rate. Same as we've done before here. Only that we have to put in a we put in again here we're looking at four years here for our number the present value here that's the amount that we received that was the eight thousand dollars here and then again uh, put that into your calculator then as a negative number put in your payment amount here that was that eight hundred dollar cash payment here and then the future value again that was what we have to pay out here at the maturity of this note here ten thousand dollars here so put that in here that is where we have our ten thousand dollars and you're going to come up with an effective interest you hit the your interest uh, button here on your calculator you're going to come up with an effective interest rate here of 15.0062 percent okay so that's what we're going to use here to amortize this note here so we to amortize it here we simply start with our eight thousand dollar beginning balance that's what we received as a discount here and then you take that eight thousand times your new effective interest uh, here of 15.0062 percent so you're going to come up with your interest expense here for the first year here of uh, effectively at twelve hundred dollars compare that to the cash payment of eight hundred dollars that gives you your discount that you have to amortize here four hundred dollars so the four hundred dollars here you can see here that it would have to be added to your beginning balance of eight thousand here to get it up to ten thousand so be add that to your beginning balance here of eight thousand you come up with eighty four hundred dollars take your new balance here 8400 times your effective interest rate you're going to get your effective interest expense here for the next year here of 1261 compared that to the cash payment of 800 and then the difference gives you your discount that you're amortizing here 461 so just continue that on here to amortize your this note here so when we're talking about a discount we received less here of 8000 and we're going to have to pay out 10000 later so we got a difference here of $2000 that had to be amortized and that's what we call by our discount here so that would be two thousand dollars here so what we want to take away from this is you have to you can see here as your balance is increasing here so is your interest expense here using this effective method here so um, not only did we come up with a larger interest rate here of 15 15 plus percent here compared to the eight percent stated rate we also have an increasing interest expense at this effective rate each year here so at the end here at the end of the fourth year we actually have effectively paid fifty two hundred and dollars here in interest expense versus the thirty two hundred dollar cash payment and the the difference here gives us the discount amount here of two thousand dollars and that discount here with the two thousand dollars was amortized that was really the eight thousand here up to ten thousand that was our two thousand dollars worth of discount that we're amortizing okay so that's what again just with the discount here you received the last here then what you're going to have to pay out in the future and to determine your effective interest use your financial calculator and put it in here put in your present value here and then your payment amount those are the interest payments here and then the future value of the amount that you have to pay here and then again make sure you get the right number of periods here in this case it was a yearly interest right here so we put in for four years okay now let's go and look at how we'd record this here Okay, and how would this debt issued at a discount affect our interest expense? Now, this is where we received $8,000 up front here, but we're going to have to pay back $10,000 here at the end of the fourth year. Again, we would set up our notes payable on our, as a liability, or it could be a bond or notes payable here on our balance sheet. Credit that here for $10,000. Now, the cash amount that we actually received, debit that here for $8,000. So, you know, we have a balancing amount that we have to come up with here, and that would be a discount. This is a contra account to our, our note payable here. Again, and that a contra account that reduces the um, notes payable that we'd have in this case. So we debit that here for $2,000. So our uh, debit amount here in cash of $8,000 plus the debit amount here or a discount here of $2,000 balances with the cash uh, with the liability here of ten thousand dollars again remember the discount here is a contra account to uh, in this case let's just call it our notes payable here and then the other thing is here how does it affect the interest expense remember we had those eight hundred dollar cash payments each year here so looking at it in that terms here we take our eight hundred dollar 
cash payment or credit here of 800 and now we've got this discount here that we're having to amortize of two thousand dollars that comes off our amortization schedule here so our discount here was four hundred off our amortization schedule so the eight hundred dollar credit here the four hundred dollar credit here to our discount here balances with the uh, effective interest expense here for $1,200 for the first year here. So as you can see, our effective interest expense here at uh, is actually at that 15.0062% here, and that um, would, is greater here than the cash interest expense here of 8%. You can, you can just see that in terms of the discount. Based on that discount, our effective interest expense is greater here. So again, we've got that, uh, and that increases each year here from 1200 on up to $1,409. So remember, our stated rate of interest here was 8%. That was our cash payment, but the effectively we're, re we're receiving here 15.0062%. Again, that with total amount here effectively was $5,200. We had the cash payment here of $3,200 plus our discount amount here of $2,000 that we have to amortize gets, gets us an effective interest expense here of $5,200. Again, uh, amortization here, just so you understand here, we received $8,000 plus we had to amortize this discount up here. Uh, 2000 gives us the face value here of 10000 Again, just remember, again, our discount here is a contra account to our bond or notes liability here. It reduces. This is the credit amount here, or it would be in the liability account here. At the issuance of this debt here would be credited for $10,000. We only received $8,000 in cash, debit amount here. So the balance goes to a discount here of $2,000, contra account to our bonds payable, and that comes off our amortization schedule each period here. But just again, just so you can see how our interest expenses affected by this this note issued at a discount we had again just take any one of these cash payments this cash payments constant each period 800 then you go down to the respective year here for the discount that's being amortized here add that to your cash payment and that's your effective interest expense for the period here okay so that takes care of both debt issued at a discount here and at a premium here and how you how you'd have to set up your effective interest method here to calculate the actual or the effect of the true interest expense here on this loan here. All right, so that takes care of it. Oh, one other thing here. Uh, again, at the end of the uh, period here when it becomes mature here, uh, we would credit. In this case, our loan here was for $10,000. Debit it, remove it off the balance sheet, and then our cash payment would be made here at for ten thousand dollars reduce our cash amount here for ten thousand dollars so we looked at it just in simple numbers here but just uh, note here how this interest expense in both cases here for the issued at a premium and our issued at a discount how that is actually represented here on our income state versus the um, cash payment that's made here and base, based on the amortization that had to be done either for the premium or the discount on this loan that's being was made